Hi, my name is Lauren O'Donnell, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow here at Fox Chase Cancer Center. And for the fifth year in a row, Fox Chase has been named as one of the best places to work as a postdoc by The Scientist magazine. And we thought we would take some time today to tell you a little bit about why so many scientists think that this is such a great place to do your postdoc. We're a designated cancer center here in Philadelphia and one of the top cancer hospitals in the country. But what you might not know about Fox Chase Cancer Center is that Fox Chase is also a top-notch research institute with programs in basic science, population science, as well as clinical research. And despite our relatively small size, Fox Chase has produced two Nobel Prize winners, a Kyoto Prize winner, and has made countless advances in biomedical research. When I was looking for my postdoc, I was searching for two main things. The first thing was a lab that was doing exciting work that I really wanted to do with hopefully a good advisor. And the second thing I was looking for was an institute that had a strong support system, really up-to-date research facilities, and had a proven record of training postdocs and helping those postdocs find the kind of jobs that they wanted to have at the end of their postdoc. So this is my bench in Glenn Rawls lab and I've been here for about a year now and what we do in our lab are some basic cell and molecular kind of techniques but we also do a lot of immunology, a lot of animal work and a lot of virology and neuroscience. And one of the nice things about Fox Chase is that we have both the facilities and the know-how to kind of take all those fields and put them together to make a really complicated research project uh, start to flow. So let me show you a little bit more about our lab. One of the things that we really value here in our lab is the opportunity to train uh, not only postdocs and grad students, but also college students and even high school students. And what I'm showing you here is actually our signature wall, which is where we have a program through Fox Chase with local high schools where we bring in high school students for a day and we just expose them to some basic science techniques to try to get them excited about being a scientist. And we've actually had some of those students come back in their high school and college years and do work for us. And every student that spends a day here gets to sign the wall. Now I would like to introduce you to my postdoctoral advisor, Dr. Glenn Rall. So, come here, Glenn. Hey, Lauren. This is Glenn. And Glenn, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what makes the postdoc program here unique in comparison to other universities. Sure. Well, I think one of the things that I value about Fox Chase as a principal investigator is how open all of us are to collaborations and to discussions. So virtually all faculty members here have uh, an open door policy that I think also impacts then on the life of postdocs because postdocs are um, treated very much as colleagues and peers here at the Cancer Center and in fact they're the, the principal way by which we get our research done because we don't actually have um, that many graduate students at the, the Cancer Center, although we do get some from area universities. So I think as, as a result of that, postdocs have an opportunity to not just interact with their mentor, but also with um, any of the faculty that are present at the Cancer Center. Now that I've shown you a little bit of our lab, I'd like to take you to see some of the other labs at Fox Chase, specifically some of those that are doing cancer research. So we're going to go visit Tiffany Hartman in Lisa Hensky's lab, which is one of the leading cancer labs here at Fox Chase. We're in Lisa Hensky's lab, and we're talking to Tiffany Hartman, who is a postdoctoral fellow here in Lisa's lab. And Tiffany, can you tell us a little bit about what you work on in Lisa's lab? The Hensky Lab is interested in inheritable renal cancers. We primarily study a disease called tuberous, tuberous sclerosis complex, or TSC. Um, this is an inheritable disease that causes renal cancer and, and other, other problems um, in, in the children and adults with TSC. We know that TSC signals through the mTOR pathway, and the mTOR pathway is active in multiple cancers. So anything we discover about this pathway might, might help TSC patients and also other cancer patients as well. It could have broad implications. So what do you like about being a postdoc at Fox Chase? Um, Fox Chase is a great place to work. I really love basically everything about working here. Um, the, the whole environment here is very supportive. The faculty and staff are um, always willing to answer questions and sincerely seem to want to help me succeed. Um, they're great for troubleshooting and giving advice. Um, everybody's always available and very helpful. Um, just as important to me, who is a working mother, is the fact that Fox Chase has an excellent daycare. Um, it's just for Fox Chase employees. Um, and a great aspect of it is they subsidize 50% of um, daycare costs. The, the center covers that. 
Um, the daycare is a great place. My kids are incredibly happy there. Um, they have a lot of fun. They have a lot of friends. They learn a lot. Um, they keep them in, um, in a lot of activities. And um, knowing that my kids are so well taken care of during the day makes it possible for me to come to work and work hard and focus on work um, and not have to worry about them. What about the infrastructure here helps you get your work done? Um, it's, the infrastructure here is, is really very nice. I was a little surprised when I came um, to this, the, the fact that Fox Chase is a little bit smaller, um, but it has all of the facilities um, that you would find at any major research uh, university, I think. Um, I, for one, have used the translational research facility, the confocal microscopy and electron microscopy facilities, the um, lab animal facilities um, really um, run by great people and they do a great job. We have our DNA, DNA oligos synthesized here, so we don't have to go off campus for that. Um, there's flow cytometry. There's basically anything that I can think of that I would need. And um, at least so far in, in three years that I've been here, I haven't had to look off campus for any, any major facility because everything is, is right here um, within these walls. We're here in Marge Einickel's office, also known as Mother Marge. And Marge, can you tell us a little bit about what the benefits are of being a postdoc here at Fox Chase? Well, the benefits of being a postdoc at Fox Chase, one of them is that we want them to remember their experience here and that they are treated special. And this office provides the information that they need, the help that they need, and the uh, assistance that they need. And they're very grateful to me for all the help I provide for them. And many of my postdocs, I've been postdoc mother since 1975, still remember me when they visit Fox Chase, and they always know that they're welcome in my office because they're my postdoc children. Does that answer your question, Lauren? That was great. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So now we're actually going to go talk to the co-director of the postdoc program, Dr. Maureen Murphy. And she's a special lady, too. Yes. <laughs> so, Maureen, what are some of the unique aspects about being a postdoc here? Well, Lauren, some of the unique attributes of training as a postdoctoral fellow at Fox Chase Cancer Center include that we have a job fair for postdoctoral fellows, we have a grants writing workshop, and we have a postdoc seminar series that's offered. We also have unique benefits such as subsidized housing, daycare, and a fitness center. We have a long-standing training grant that's supported by the National Cancer Institute as well as a number of endowed fellowships. How does one become a postdoctoral fellow at Fox Chase Cancer Center? The best way is to consult our website and to look for positions available as a postdoctoral researcher, to align yourself with a potential mentor and apply to that person directly. So Lauren, what do you like about being a postdoctoral fellow at Fox Chase in Philadelphia? Well, the nice thing about Fox Chase is that even though we are technically within Philadelphia, we are on the outskirts, so we're more in the suburban area. So you have your choice. You can either be living in the city, where there's of course a ton of things to do, or you can be out in the suburbs and have a really nice short commute and kind of have a more settled atmosphere. It's completely up to you, but either way you have both available. Well, Maureen, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today about Fox Chase. Thank you, Lauren, and thank you for being a valued member of our postdoctoral program. I'm deeply committed to the success of all of our postdoctoral fellows. I hope we've shown you a little today about what makes the postdoc program at Fox Chase so unique. If you'd like to learn more, check out this URL, and thanks for watching.